Hey what's up guys, Crazy here, welcome back to No Man's Sky and today I have a really awesome nanite farming method that I want to share with you guys. Of course it is new thanks to the brand new Origins update and it's by far the best, the easiest and the fastest one that you can do in this game right now. And later on in this video I'm also going to show you how you can actually combine that with a previously existing one where you could just go in and scrap many of these ships at the scrapper. But first let's get started with the method itself and of course guys if you enjoyed this video at any point it would be super awesome if you left a like on it and also subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this now you might be wondering why would you even need all of these nanites and the reason is really simple you have now the multi tools right here that cost 85,000 nanites to fully upgrade to the maximum rank assuming that you're going from the lowest one like for the last upgrade you need 50,000 nanites which is absolutely crazy it's basically on the same level as the ships right here which also cost 85,000 nanites to fully upgrade just one of these so imagine if you want to go ahead and like do this with multiple ships and multiple multi tools you're gonna need a ton of nanites and you're gonna need them very fast now the way this method works is really simple we are going to get these brand new suspicious modules that have just been added with the origins update now there's a couple of ways you can get these in but the most important and the easiest is by far from the brand new scrap dealer right here and he has a brand new section called purchase old scrap and if you look at it you're gonna see that there's a bunch of suspicious items in here that you can buy in exchange for pangnium i'm gonna show you how to get tons of pangnium on the same station in just a little bit but the items that you're going to specifically want to purchase are the scanner modules so there's going to be a couple of these that you can find and then the weaponry so we're gonna purchase all of these at the same time now the thing about these npcs is that they don't always spawn with like two suspicious modules but this doesn't mean it's not a good station you can still do it in those since you have the weaponries too i'm gonna show you why in just a little bit but if you can find something with two of them it's going to be the best possible scenario so if we go right here i purchase these and the suspicious weaponries have a high chance to also spawn these right here so let's open them up and bam there's another one and then there's another one and the final one is another module now it can also give you something like one of these that costs quite a lot of units so at the very least you can make some money on the side too but as you can see these are all of the new suspicious modules and you might be thinking well but you just depleted the entire source like what are you going to do and this is the next bit that is actually super easy and super fun and all you need to do is to go into your ship enter it and then exit it to create a save file as you can see it says restore point saved right there and this means that now i have an auto save that i can go back to and that's exactly what i am going to do so now that i am back i still have all of my items in my inventory as you can see right here it's still fully loaded and we're gonna go back to the npc to see if his stock has been replenished so spoilers alert it kind of has been because i already know since i've been doing this for like the past half an hour or so so bam there you go now you have all of these that you can purchase so i'm gonna go ahead buy them again and now his sources are gone so let me just show you what we're gonna do with all of these modules and then i'm gonna show you how to get pangnium back because as you can see i've completely diminished my entire resource so i'm gonna go to one of these you can go with any of these npcs right here any of these module vengers will work just fine so just go at any of them go into the buy section and then go into the sell section right here and as you can see we have a ton of these right here so currently i'm at 37,000, and if i sell all of these i should get at least like 5,000, maybe even more so that was that was 11,000. holy moly that was 10 minutes of farming by the way just constantly reloading that was just 10 minutes of work for 10,000. so at the very least during a full hour you should get about 30 40 even 50,000 of these really easy now the way we're gonna do with the pognium is that we're gonna get them from the same space station and to be more specific from the terminal right there in case it has it in this case i verify that it doesn't but most important from the 
NPCs that will spawn right here. So in most of the space stations, you can find these NPCs that can sell like this Sputnium right here. And if you go into a rich system, they have a really high resource count. So as you can see, in many of these cases, many of these NPCs had at least 4,000 Pognium at any given time. Okay, so I made a few mental notes which of these NPCs actually hold Pognium. That's also what you're going to want to do. So pay attention to the ships especially and their names since they are a big giveaway if, well, they are going to sell some more again. So um, if you find one, you're going to want to know what name it is because that's the one that you're going to want to continuously go to once it respawns. So in this case, I think this guy had it. So it was Vet. We're just going to call him Vet. So 4,600. Look at that. All of that Pognium ready to be bought. And then there's also this guy. I think his name is... Okay, Syringe. <laughs> what? It sounds like a maniac doctor, but I think this guy also had it. Or maybe his brother. Yeah, it was his brother. Ek. I call him Ek because I don't really know how to pronounce his name. And there was also this guy, I believe. Captain Ivy. Maybe his too? Yeah, he definitely is. So another 4,600 that I got and bam, we're back at 9,000. Really easy. Um, you will need some units, so I will assume that for this farming method, you already know what you're doing. You have some units at your disposal. Maybe you've been playing for a while. So again, buy them from the NPCs, buy the Pognium from the NPCs, then buy this from the Scrapper and then we're gonna want to reload our save file following a save. And that's gonna replenish both the scrapper NPC right here as well as all the other NPCs that sold you the Pognium. So let me do that really quick. I'm gonna get these again. Like can't believe that I already have like almost 10 of these. I'm gonna go back to my uh, little ship right here and I'm gonna do another reload right here. So let's see. Carl? What do you have for me Carl? Anything I can make use of Carl? Well, Carl, I'm not disappointed. You're actually useful for once. So I'm gonna purchase these. So add Carl to the list too. It seems that he also sells Pognium. Thank you, Carl. You're a nice chap. Ivy, Captain Ivy. There he is. Poor old Cap. Let's buy his entire stash. And look at that. As I've said, fully replenished. The 4602 that he had previously. Now he has it again with the simple power of reloading your save file. And that's basically all you need to do in this case. That's all you have to worry about. Just do everything at the same space station. Now the only problem is that you're not always going to find a best case scenario like how I did. Basically a rich system with a scrapper that sells at least two modules plus the weaponry and NPCs that have a lot of Pognium almost every time. That is why... This is the coordinates to this system right here. You can come here at any time, you can just use a teleporter like a portal to come over here. You don't have any restrictions that we had in the previous patches and you can just come here really quickly and do this farming method. Um, the thing is, is that if you play here and if you watch my videos, chances are that you're going to find a lot of other players too. Case in which, if you want to be undisturbed, go into the network section and turn off the multiplayer and you're not going to see anybody over here anymore. In my case, I'm the first one here, so there is nobody baby. I can do this anytime I want to. But now this brings us to the second portion of our farming guide because as I've said, we are going to combine this new method with an old method that also worked really amazingly. But now I'm also going to purchase every single one of these ships that I'm seeing right here. Especially B, A class and even more so if you can find it as a shuttle, these are really, really inexpensive. Look at that, only 1.8 million for all of this, so I'm gonna purchase it. Also works really well with explorers. These are also inexpensive, so I'm gonna go to this guy. First, I'm gonna check what he has in terms of Pognium. He doesn't, so I'm just gonna make him an offer, negotiate price, and look at that, only 60. 500,000 units, which is really inexpensive. I mean, for B-Class, that also has a chance, by the way, to give us more modules when we scrap it at the ship scrapper. A-Class has a really high chance to provide, like, even higher modules that sell for even more. And there's also this guy right here. Let's go all in. Or maybe not. <laughs> he, he just ran away. He saw me, he saw me buying everybody's ship and preparing to scrap it, so he just ran away like, nope, I'm out. So here it is, the scrapper, the old method that we're gonna combine with our existing method. So I'm going to claim the scrap, real easy. 
and scrap worth 1 million. I'm only losing about 25% of the sum, but I am getting these upgrade modules right here that sell for at least 4, 300 um, nanites. That's actually quite a lot. And when it says that it gives you 1 million worth of scrap back, that's exactly what it means. It gives you that in exchange for these materials. So these materials are the cost, like this one, 800,000, and you sell these to get some of that cost back. Oh, look at that, egg is back. Tenda has a nice ring to it. He probably has his Pognium too, so I'm gonna purchase the Pognium and then I will scrap his ship if it makes any sense. C-class, but it's really inexpensive and it gives us everything that we wanted. We have Pognium, we are making money back, at least part of the money we're making it back. We're gonna claim the scrap and we're gonna get everything from it. And look at this. These are all of the new ones that we got just from a few ships. It's not even like five ships that we got, only like three. And we have like six modules. And it takes a few minutes to do these. And if I were to go in here and sell all of these, they won't sell for too much because I didn't stay too long here. But if I were to sell them, that's more than a thousand right here. Look at that. And I have the suspicious ones too. So that's actually quite a legit fast method that you can do at any time. You can just sell these. And we are already at 52,000, we just made 3,000 super easily. But anyway, this is it with a brand new and improved nanite farming method that you can do in No Man's Sky Origins update 3.0. Of course, go ahead and do it while you still can because eventually I assume Hello Games is going to fix all of this or at the very least adjust it entirely. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video at any point, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on it, maybe even subscribe and activate that notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next one, so peace out.